here on these screens, these are interactive screens which you're able to touch, choose from a whole menu of different, uh, different stories. This is all organized, this is all the projects, but it's classified, you can look at ones that have been, for example here, abandoned or refused uh, or in suspense, ones that perhaps might still be uh, taken up. And here, for example, we could look on the, hair, the, the uh, Serge Clerc storyline. Not only can you look through images, which come up nice and big on the page, there's also along the side here, there's an interview with Clerc about it. And then I think if you keep going, there we go, there's also um, a video which you can play, which allows you to hear Serge Clerc talk about, there he is, appearing with, like a ghost on the <laughs> talking about his project. Isn't that nicely done? There we go. So a, there are several of those screens around the room. And as I say, finally, in this amazingly presented exhibition, as I say, almost 200 French language comics that have never seen the day, uh, it's never actually seen print. We have uh, a filmed interview. This is actually with Pyrrhus. Um, who's talking about uh, about uh, the story he was working on, writing and drawing. He's not just a writer working with Mezzo. Um, Et j'avais montré les pages à Cornelius, Jean-Louis Capron, de Cornelius. Lui, ça l'intéressait, mais il me disait, et il avait raison, c'est tellement lent à se mettre en route, en fait, il faut encore, il fallait le triple de pages. Donc là, j'ai été à 46 pages. Et vraiment, so as you can see, Pyrrhus is showing the pages, and what's charming about that is actually, to be honest with you, is the sadness in his eyes as he talks about this project that he was hoping to uh, to realize. So there you are, a brilliant concept, um, and one we can, one we could imagine actually adapting and perhaps expanding to look at comics from uh, from the English language for a start. Tremendously presented here at Pulp Festival 2015.